the virus does not understand your emotions. This commitment you must take for yourself, for the sake of the nation and for the sake of humanity. There is no need to panic, what is needed is sense. All of us absolutely locked down, locked down. We would have in many ways contained it. This question is from Chaitanya. Sadhguru, the cases in India are increasing and with the lockdown opening, it might pick up the pace. I would like to know if I get corona, how do I deal with it emotionally? Oh, the virus does not understand your emotions. So, <laughs> don't deal with it emotionally. First thing, don't get it, but it may happen. Once you're out on the street, it may happen. So please don't deal with it emotionally. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. So how should I handle my emotion? This is what I was saying all this time. Your emotion, whatever is the sweetest point you hit in your life, the high point, you must keep it there, don't bring it down. So, if virus gets you, you must deal with it sensibly. The most sensible thing is, if you get it, nobody else should get it from you. This commitment you must take for yourself, for the sake of the nation and for the sake of humanity. You must take this, in case you get it, it should not hop to one more person. You must stop here. Either we come out of it alive or we die or we come out whichever way, but it should not go to one more person. This responsibility we must take. So there is no emotional stuff to it. You deal with it, it'll be a little hard to breathe. People say it's quite terrible because it feels like you're drowning. But then now it is showing other symptoms also, various other kinds. So, we don't know what kind of sweet emotions virus has for you or not. We do not know. We do not know if he has any emotions, he's just uh, doing his business, simply. He's just going about his business of survival. So you go about your business of survival, that's it. Just like the virus, all right? The virus is trying to survive upon you. You survive upon this planet, don't go away. No emotion needed for this. Just what is needed, you hand yourself over to a doctor, whatever they have to do, they will do, you take instructions and just do that. Or before the lockdown is over, fully inform yourself what you must do, what you must not do, absolutely, hundred percent clear. But if you keep yourself we have taught you Sema Kriya, but if you're already doing Shakti Chalana Kriya, your immune system is good in terms of food. Maybe we can put it out with little more, you know, little rejig that a little bit. How to get the immune system up? Use these fifteen days to really get the immune system into a strong place. In spite of that, we can get it. But now they're saying eighty percent of the people who get it don't show any symptoms. They just go through it, nothing happens, it's just that they're giving it to other people, that's all. So if you are in the vulnerable age group, you must be super careful for you, lockdown is not over. If you are over sixty, sixty-five years of age, if you have any kind of immune deficiency disorders, for you, lockdown is not going to get over on 17th of May. It's not going to get over for next six months, eight months, nine months, we don't know, maybe twelve months. Those who are young and healthy, yes, you have to get back to activity and do things. Others have to maintain, those who are in the vulnerable groups, they have to maintain lockdown. And everybody, you need to understand, even if the lockdown gets over, you must understand this is not because we got on top of the virus, simply because we can't afford to stay home, both in terms of economy, in terms of various other social things, we cannot continue to stay back, so we're going out. 
Virus is not saying, yes, I am done, I am defeated. There's no such thing. Nothing has been done about the virus. Forget about a vaccination, we still don't have a treatment protocol which is clear and everybody says this is the way to do it. We have not arrived at that. Simply we are trying many things that we normally do when we get something else and managing those who are strong are coming out of it, those who are not are going down. So these numbers may definitely increase, there is no need to panic. What is needed is sense, keep sufficient distance, it doesn't matter your friend or foe, uh, if your friend, you don't have to hug them, enemy, don't have to slap them. A slap could be very dangerous. <laughs> so, don't do anything, all right? Do minimal contact with people, with distancing, this must be maintained for next few months. Doesn't matter, government says you can go out, they are saying that out of the compulsions of national economy and various other things that need to happen. You can't keep people locked down forever. But it's phenomenal that more than six weeks we have successfully locked down, largely very successful, fantastic. Today, the Indian forces, all the three for tri forces of uh, Army, Navy, and Air Force have been around the country honoring all the COVID warriors as they're called today, the doctors, the medical professionals, the police and others, who have played a significant role in managing it this way. With the kind of diversity of people that we have, diversity of languages, because uh, let's say in United States, if the president or somebody speaks in English language, everybody understands. This is not like that, you have to speak in twenty-eight languages. All right, and there are many people who don't understand any language <laughs> In spite of the complexity of the social structure, which uh, no other nation has this kind of complex structure in terms of language, race, religion, everything, in spite of that, it has been up, you know, managed in a fantastic way, with minimal amount of force. And people have cooperated in a significant way. Uh, we really have to congratulate the Indian people. But virus can pick up even if two people have in the country slowly, it will again grow. But now there is a significant way of identifying and isolating people who are infected. These asymptomatic people are a little bit of a problem. Nobody can test 1.4 billion people. You can't test all of them for this virus. So the best thing is, we just maintain the distance even after the lockdown is over, till we feel the wave is completely gone. Till then we have to maintain this discipline. This is the way forward for all of us.